Between 8am and 9am on January 24, 2006, Rob Allen tried calling his girlfriend Jennifer Cassie, but he went straight to voicemail. Rob found this odd, as he always heard from Jennifer before work. Assuming that the finance manager was in a meeting she had mentioned to him, Rob didn't worry too much, but his later attempts at reaching Jennifer also were unsuccessful. The couple had returned from a vacation in the US Virgin Islands on the evening of the 22nd, and last spoke on the phone at around 10pm on the 23rd. This would be the last known communication Jennifer Cassie would make with anyone. The 24-year-old failed to show up for work the next morning. Alarmed by her uncharacteristic absence, Jennifer's employer contacted her parents at around 11am. Drew and Joyce Cassie attempted to contact their daughter, but the calls went straight to voicemail. Next, they reached out to Jennifer's building manager to check on her condo. He reported that everything seemed normal, and that her car was not in its assigned parking spot. The Cassies made the two-hour drive to Jennifer's condo in Orlando, Florida, arriving between 3pm and 3.15pm. They found nothing unusual. The shower and towels were still wet, and the only items missing were her purse, iPod, briefcase, keys, cell phone, and her black four-door 2004 Chevy Malibu, indicating she had left for work that morning. Logan, Jennifer's brother, asked some of the construction workers on site about his missing sister, but he found them uncooperative. The condo complex that Jennifer lived at was previously an apartment complex, but was going through renovations and construction was still taking place at most of the condos. Many of the construction workers were in the country illegally and staying in the unfinished condos. The workers made Jennifer uncomfortable as they would catcall, whistle and stare at her. With no sign of their daughter, the Cassies notified the Orlando Police Department, who told them that she had likely had a fight with her boyfriend and would return. Her family knew something was wrong. They informed Jennifer's friends of her disappearance, and they arrived to help hand out flyers along the route she took to work. This effort caught the attention of the media, and shortly after, authorities became involved. Searches were conducted on foot and horseback, as well as by ATV, car, helicopter and boat. A couple in the complex claimed they had seen Jennifer's car swerving out of the parking lot at around 7.40am. They were unable to say which way the car turned once it went through the front gate. Due to the state of the complex, police were unable to confirm this story or generate any leads, as the security system had not been installed. However, they did learn that the front gates were always left open to allow construction workers to enter and leave when needed. Investigators questioned Jennifer's friends and family. Her boyfriend was ruled out after having a solid alibi. They learnt that her ex-boyfriend had been at a bar across the street from the condo complex the night before she went missing, but he was also cleared of any involvement in the disappearance. Attention was turned to the construction workers, but most of them had left after police launched their investigation. Due to them being undocumented, it was virtually impossible to track them down. The ones that were spoken to didn't offer much assistance with the police, citing the language barrier as an issue. At 8.10am on January 26, a tenant of a nearby complex saw an image of Jennifer's car on the news. They immediately called police to say that the vehicle had been parked outside the Huntington on the Green apartment complex for several days. The complex was less than a mile from Jennifer's condo. The car was taken for forensic examination, which only provided a latent print that was later determined to belong to Jennifer, and a small DNA fibre that proved inconclusive. The driver's seat had been pushed all the way back. Police concluded that the vehicle had been wiped down before it was abandoned. A search dog tracked a scent that led from the parked car back to Jennifer's condo complex. Investigators obtained footage from two security cameras at Huntington on the Green. The first showed the vehicle pulling into the parking lot at around 12pm on January 24. The driver remained in the vehicle for 30 seconds before exiting and walking by the pool area. The image was too grainy to get a clear look at the individual. The second camera caught the person walking outside of the apartment complex. The camera only took images every two to three seconds, and in each snapshot, the individual's face was obscured by the complex's fence posts. One journalist would say that this was the luckiest person of interest ever. 
the FBI determined that the person was between 5 foot 3 and 5 foot 5, had large feet, and was wearing clothing similar to that of a painter or manual worker. They were unable to determine the gender of the person. 1,400 people and search dogs looked through the wooded area near Huntington on the Green, but found no evidence. According to Drew Kessie, his daughter's cell phone was turned off at 10.40pm on the 23rd, something that he believes she would never do. Since her disappearance, Jennifer's cell phone and bank account have shown no signs of activity. Police initially believed that she was abducted as she was walking from her front door to her car. They now believe that she was abducted at some point on her way to work. In 2020, images were released of the front of Jennifer's car, which possibly suggested signs of a struggle. It looked like someone was thrown down on top of the hood, arms spread out and then dragged back almost like off the hood, to the point where you can almost see fingers scribbling down the hood, said Drew. In 2018, the Cassies were given over 16,000 documents, and 67 hours of video and audio recordings related to their daughter's case. They continue to search for Jennifer, who has now been missing for 16 years. Her whereabouts remain a mystery, although foul play is highly likely.